Joe and I are still talking that one over. I hope you stay a long time. It's exciting to have all you girls together again. It's a real treat. Joe said you tried to kill her. Why don't you sit down? I will sit down when I want to sit down. Are you afraid to sit down? You always used to sit there. It's so hard to know what to start talking about after four years. Are you still a homosexual? Yes, mother. I am still a lesbian. Well, I hope you don't do any homosexual things when you're in town. I mean, it's your life, but... Mom, can I say something? Of course, we're having a talk. As I was driving down here, I was talking to myself. I was saying, Mom's had four years. We both have. Four years of not seeing each other, not talking, not even writing. Maybe things are entirely different now. Maybe we'll actually see that we've forgotten how we used to talk to each other. And maybe we'll invent a whole new way. You talk to yourself in the car? Why do we always have to have conversations like this? Why can't you just say, hi, Kes, it's nice to see you? No. Why not? Because it isn't. But why not? Isn't it obvious? You left this family long ago. You never visited. You never told us anything about your life. I was trying to establish something for myself. And then, four years ago, out of the blue, you came down here and decided I need the medical help. You did! In your opinion. I found you sitting on the floor behind a chair wrapped in a blanket. And you gave me a hug. I remember. It was so sweet. But then you took me out to the MHI. What was I supposed to do? Huh? Take you to Minneapolis with me? You wouldn't go. What, quit my job and move down here? That could have been a start. I'm a professional. I have a career. It takes all my time, all my love to do this. I'm not a half teacher somewhere. I'm extremely good at what I do. I know, dear. You are a specialist. And you were only in there for three months. How much love would you like us? What? Isn't that what we're talking about here, really? You are not here for Joe. You're here for love. You want some of my love. I mean, that would be nice. You are a specialist. You don't need a lot of love from me. Maybe you just need a tiny bit. I think I could provide that. Why did you try to kill Joe? I didn't. I hit her. Joe thinks you tried to. Show me one mother who hasn't hit a child. Well, I'm going to be here for a little while. I think Joe and Sherry could use as much love and protection that would afford. They don't need protection. I think they do. I think they need that and love. Why did you hit Joe? I never hit Joe! You ask anybody in independence about me, they'll say Evelyn Briggs is the same as most well loved one among us. Better go help Joe. He leaves the luggage in the middle. Supermodel. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Um, okay. So, we're gonna. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. You should have let things that were there. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's ready. You're recording. Why <laughs> don't you? I'm going to be a sweatsh. Rolling, action. I'm a professional. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's keep going. Cool. Keep going. All right, if we're ready then. <laughs> okay. Action.